they are buying like can we talk about what yeah, they bought? They, they've come on the pod before uh and they're pretty public about stuff. So they're buying companies like cool uh pool construction companies. So it's like uh you know, pools are this like amazing business that you could you could do and they bought one in like I think it's called Dolphin Pools or something like that. They bought it in Arizona. It crushes it. They they hired this one operator who's like really good who took it over from the the original owner, the the boomer owner and basically it's grown like crazy and that's like one of their cash cows now. And I, uh, and they also bought a internet web, like, um, I got in the country, like they don't have like AT&T or Time Warner or whatever. They, they have like local providers and they bought one of those and it's doing well. And I have family members. So my dad's an entrepreneur the way, they bought, and like, none of, of his kids. They bought five different yeah, a bunch of them. internet service providers. And they're all doing, I think pretty yeah. good. Um, and so my dad owns a small business that none of his family is taking over. My father-in-law owns a small business who, and it is a really, it's a killer business. I mean, um, and they, uh, he somehow the, the our, our new brother-in-law is now going to take it over and seeing the turmoil that he had to go through in order to, he was like, well, I spent 40 years building this thing. And I guess if no one <laughs> that I love wants it, I'm just going to shut it down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> And it was like kind of tragic. <laughs> and it's like, I'm literally willing to give this to a family member and they can make many millions of dollars a year if they wanted to do this. It's just, it's, it's free. You could have it. And uh, <laughs> people didn't want to do it. And so I've seen this process and it is like an emotional, it's, it's a really, it's, it's a huge challenge. And this is very, a very interesting market. There's some stats about how many, do you know how many boomers are retiring in like it's the like next some absurd number? It's, it's absurd. It's like, it's like, it's like a quarter of the, the country like or, or a third of the one country. One of the biggest wealth transfers of all time is about to happen. It's the, like that, that group of people, when they pass down their inheritance, when they die. it's going to, it's like many yeah. trillions of dollars. I think, I don't know if that's, that might be hyperbole, but I think it's something like that. Some ridiculous number. And then that's like a lot of people that are just not going to have to work, but also don't know what to do with it. And similarly, there's many, many businesses. That was when Enduring first pitched it, they were like, they just showed me the stats. They were like, there are this many boomer businesses where they want to retire. They don't want to run their business anymore. And their kids don't want to take it over. And like those businesses are up for grabs and they're like too small. Like they're not sexy as a startup and they're too small for big private equity. And so we're going to be like per basically like permanent equity where they're going to be, they're just going to buy it and hold these amazing businesses for a very long time. And they keep doing that one after another. Uh, like I think Steve and Xavier, they, they've rolled up like, almost a hundred million dollars of business equity off of a $2 million starting equity amount. Like we, yeah. we uh, <laughs> it is crazy. I, I invested in what I didn't have a lot of money when I first invested in. So but at the time it was like 10 or 15,000 or something like that, that I invested. In. It was like a, that was a big deal Did for I me. Did I tell you what happened and, with my uh, investment in it? It's just been like, it's just been growing and growing and growing. No. <laughs> so they, so they were like, they were like, Sean, like you've helped us like think through this idea and like, they do like, I like this stuff. I'll be helpful along the way. So they're like, you know, we want to offer you like, if you invest, we'll also offer you like an invest, uh, an advisor or like, uh, like an advisory grant that'll just match your investment. And, uh, and I think they thought I was going to do like, you forgot to file the paperwork. No, 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 no. I think they thought I was going to put uh -huh. in like 25 K or like max or like 20 K something like that. So they're like, okay, cool. You got like 20 K of equity. We'll give you 20 K worth of advisory shares. But I was like a big believer in what they were doing. So I put in 200,000 and then they were like, they're like, oh, and I was like, look, you don't have to like, I get it. You don't have to give me 200,000 of advisor shares. But Xavier was like, nope, a deal's a deal. And um, like, I was like, if we didn't sign anything and like, dude, I'm totally okay with it. But he's like, no, like, like we will, we will honor that. And also like, I know you'll like, you'll deliver. And so th since then oh I've had gosh. this like immense desire to deliver on that. It was actually the best thing he ever did. Cause he got me to basically work for him for free. Uh, for, for this one, like for this act of goodwill, I am like, I will, I see your goodwill and I raise you 10 times goodwill on my own side. It's going to, that's going to end up being a, a great, one of your better investments, I would think, depending on, I don't know when you got in, if, were you with, very we both, yeah. were you both? Yes. Then that's going to, I think it's going to crush. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I think already, let's say conservatively, that's probably up 20 X, you know, like something like that in valuation. You think that's up 20x? Yeah, because if they go raise now, they basically have, I don't know, exact numbers, but like somewhere between 25 to 50 million of revenue, uh, they're, they're closer to 50 million in revenue from these businesses now um, that they've acquired off of 2 million in equity. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, like, 